Want to transfer your music collection from one DJ software to another? Then Record Buddy might be the tool you need to do so quickly and effectively. Record Buddy is a super simple way to transfer your DJ collection from one DJ software to another. Specifically, Serato, Recordbox, Tractor, and it also works with iTunes. Whether that be a single track, a playlist, a folder, or your entire music collection, with a click, drag and drop system, it has never been easier to transfer your music collection. So the reason I started using Record Buddy was, I've been a Serato user since pretty much day one, but over the last 12 months, 18 months, I've been turning up to DJ sets where I've been playing guest sets, so I've been taking over from another DJ, and it became such a hassle coming into the DJ booth having to either plug in my Serato box or USB cable and making sure I'm not pulling out the wrong phone or cables or, you know, God forbid it, pulling out a power lead and all the music going off, that would be an absolute nightmare. So I needed to start using Record Box because most clubs have a Nexus setup nowadays, a CDJ setup where I could come in, put my USB in, go to Record Box in the playlist, have all my cues there, and that would be an easy way for me to start DJing my guest sets from now on. But there was that daunting thing of having to transfer my entire music collection, which up until you know six months ago, a year ago, was quite a difficult thing, and that's where Record Buddy comes into its own. So let's take a look inside the software. So here we are inside Record Buddy. You've got a drop down menu here, as you can see, Record Buddy, Record Box, Serato, and iTunes. Now, I don't DJ on Tractor, but everything I'm going to talk about here relates to Tractor as well. Super simple. So if I click on Serato here, you can see it loads all tracks and playlists. If I open up playlists, it's got all my playlists here inside Serato, and there are a lot of them. And same for record box. If I drop down record box, go down to playlists. I've got some playlists here. I can click on all tracks and all my tracks are there on the right hand side as well. Similar to iTunes as well, all your iTunes plays there as well. So let's transfer a playlist or a song from Serato into record box. So click on the drop down menu on the left hand side on both softwares. Now we can see you've got all my Serato playlists here. So let's just choose the top playlist, which is a Cardi B playlist. So all we do, simple as we hold down, drag and drop onto playlists. Now if I dra drag the menu down here, as you can see, the playlist has been added to our record box collection. So a good thing to note here is, until you exit and save your work, nothing will be saved. So you can get as creative as you want, knowing that it's not affecting anything in a live sense. Until you actually save what you've done, nothing will happen. So if you've made a mistake, you can easily just come out, press don't save, and everything will be back to normal. So I'm gonna go and click save on this Cardi B playlist. And then we're gonna open up a record box and see, if I can find it, see if that's worked. So here we are inside Record Box. So if I go down to Record Box XML here, playlist, as you can see, our Cardi B playlist is there. So when I downloaded Record Buddy, it was as simple as everything was already in order for me, all my tracks, playlists, etc. But if you're a Record Box user and you download it, there may be a couple of preferences you need to change to make sure this works. Let's go into preferences. Go down to layout here. There's a record box XML box here that you need to check. Make sure that's checked on. Then we're gonna to go to advanced and we need to import library into the default library. Simple as just click in the box so it's all highlighted, delete it, then press enter. That'll be the default library that we need to be importing. Finally, go to file export collection in XML format. Click that. You can just save it as, let's just put test record box. And I'll just save that on my desktop. And then it's a case simply of dragging and dropping the XML file 
onto record box. So it's worth noting that once you've transferred from Serato or Traktor into record box, you'll have this drop-down menu here. It says record box XML. Now, essentially record buddy is reading the files from another source or wherever your music is stored. So these tracks or playlists, they're not actually inside of your record box library. To do that is super simple. You just drag and drop the playlist into your playlist. So if I drag this Cardi B one on top of playlist, it imports all the tracks and then all the tracks are here inside record box with all the cue points from my Serato. So finally, we're gonna do it the other way around. I'm gonna transfer a folder from my record box into Serato. Same principles, drop down menu. Let's go to this tech house uh, playlist here. Drag that down into my playlist. And if I scroll down here, got a lot of playlists in Serato. My tech house folder is right there with all the tech house tunes. We'll come out of record buddy, save that. And if we scroll down, tech house folder there with all the tracks inside it. So there we go, a super and simple effective way of transferring your music collection from one DJ software to another. So record buddy isn't a free piece of software, it is a subscription service. You pay $49.99 for the first year and then every year after that is $29.99 and you get free updates, the software updates pretty much every week from what I can see. Um, but a really cool way for you to transfer between DJ softwares quickly and effectively. I hope this helps. Please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. We'll keep making these videos for you guys.